good morning class in today's video we are going to learn about data visualization using seaborn so for this we have to import some of the libraries so by using the keyword import we are import the different libraries and by using the keyword as we will give the alias name to that library so first we have to import the pandas library as pd for working with the data set after that, we are importing the NumPy library as NPy, NP. And next, we are importing the matplotlib.py plot library as PLG because the Seaborn library is built on the top of the matplotlib library. So we have to import that also. And at last, we are importing the Seaborn library as SNS. In the last line, we have given the function matplotlib in line. So by the help of this function, we can easily visualize our data without having to save plots as image files or open them in a separate window. So let's start first. We have to get our data set. So for this, we will be using emptycars.csv file. So we have taken the name of the variable name, emptycars. You can take any name and assigning equals to pd pd is pandas library dot read underscore csv function and in this function we are giving the name of that csv file that we want to convert into data frame and store in empty cars name variable so to check whether it's working or whether our csv file is converted into data set or not we will use the function head head function along with the name of that data frame. So by default, if you do not specify any value within the head function, it will give the first five rows of your data frame. So as you can see, the output is coming means our data set has been created in the empty cars name variable. After that, to get the more information about our data set, we will use the describe function. It will give the number of columns and the non-null values in your data. So as you can see, you can use empty cards.describe or empty cards.info. So information, it gives all the column names. 11 column names are there, 0 to 11, and the non-null values. After that, you can use the shape function to get the number of rows and columns. So as you can see, you can use empty cars dot shape the output will be 32 rows and 12 column so in this way you can check whether the data how many rows and columns are there information about your data set etc after that we are starting with creating a bar plot in c1 library so what is a bar plot a bar plot is a categorical column we can say that it is a categorical column on x-axis and numeric column on y-axis. Bar plot treats one of the variable as categorical. So let's see the syntax of it. You can use bp equals to sns dot bar plot because bp is the name of the bar plot. You can give any other name. sns is the library which we are using seaborn and dot bar plot. Bar plot is the function for who's creating the bar plot. And in this, we have given the arguments for x axis, we are giving the cylinder column that denotes by CYL in the bracket within the commas, inverted commas. And on the y axis, we are giving the MPG column. And after that, from where we are taking this data, data we are taking from the anti empty cars data set which we have created so this is one of the syntax where you can specify x and y separately or you can also use bp equals to sns dot bar plot empty cars you can directly provide the name of that data set along with it x column comma empty cars along with the y column so you can use any of the syntax and after that, we will use plt.show. 
and this is the uh, we, we are using the show function you can see that this is the bar plot in which the cylinder cyl on the x axis and mpg on the y axis these lines which you are seeing the black color lines these are the error lines you can say after that you can also change the color of these bar plot this is the by default color for example to add color to the graph you can use the same syntax pp equals to sns dot bar plot provide the x axis then provide the y axis after that provide data from where it has to take the data set and in that you can add the color function and you can provide for example i have given the blue and you can give plt dot show so you can see so you can see that the colors of the bar plots have been changed to blue you can also take the color from the already given palette so for this you can use the syntax in this we are using the bp equals to sns dot bar plot in now in x axis i have given the am column and in y axis i have given the mpg column data equals to empty cars and in this palette i have given the set one there are different palette names for example set one rocket etc so in this i have used the set one within the inverted commas now plt dot show you can see that colors has been changed to red and gray or bluish because in set one this is the color range they have given here zero is for automatic transmission of the vehicle and one is for the manual transmission if you can use now we can try for some other columns also for example bp equals to sns dot bar plot in the x axis now i have given the gear column and in y axis i have given the hp column data equals to empty cars and in this i have used the palette rocket so you can see that by using the plt dot show function this graph is coming and this color palette has been taken from the rocket range now we come to the count plot for the c1 library count plot returns the count of total values for each category using bars so first we will work with the vertical count plot so for this we have giving the syntax sns dot count plot and in xx we are giving only the working with only one column so xx is equals to cylinder data equals to empty cards and palette we are using set one you can see that plt dot show vertical count plot is given this on the x axis it given the cylinder with 4 6 and 8 and here the count is given of these cylinders you can also try from other column sns dot count plot x equals to cup and data equals to empty cars and in this pa palette i have used in set 3 so you can give plt dot show you can see that this is x axis has been carved very counts and on this y axis it gives the counts of different cups this was the vertical count plot now we will see the horizontal count plot so for this we will give see in vertical we are giving the x axis and for the horizontal count plot we will give the y axis so syntax will be same only x and y will be changed sns dot count plot y equals to gear and data equals to empty car palette equals to set to now we will use plt dot show function you can see that the gear has been come to the y axis and the count on the x axis you can also try for one more column the car column so sns dot count plot now in y axis i have given the car column data equals to empty cars palette equals to set three and plt dot show function we have used so you can see that on the y axis the carb is coming and on the x axis its count is coming thank you